Hey guys, so today for Face Mask Friday, I've got the highly requested SW Basics Hibiscus Masks. I guess technically it wasn't highly requested. I did post a picture on Instagram asking which one you'd like to see next, and a lot of you said this one, so I decided to do this one this week, and I'm actually really excited to share this one with you because it is one of my favorite face masks, even though I've only used it twice. It is, it's a really great face mask and I can't wait to share this with you. So this is from the brand SW Basics and this is a brand known for creating products with minimal amount of ingredients. This one, for instance, only has three ingredients in it, which I think is amazing. They have um, a lot of other stuff. They've got face cleansers, they've got creams, they've got scrubs, they've got um, a makeup remover, they've got lip balms. So they've got a lot of really great natural ingredients and they their products do contain organic ingredients. They are cruelty free, they're vegan, and they're just, they're pretty darn amazing. And it's made simply by real people in the USA um, out of Brooklyn, New York. So this is a 2.5 ounce jar that they sell for $22 on their website. Um, this was kind of bad timing because this is actually out of stock right now. The note on the website says that they should be back in stock by the end of January and this video will actually go up on the 30th so hopefully by the time that this video goes up it'll be back in stock um, but even if it's not when this by the time this video goes up it should be back up soon but when it is up it is $22. It is made with organic hibiscus, French green clay, and organic lavender powder. So just some Skin benefit facts on the ingredients. Hibiscus is definitely the one that I have the most information on. The other two, um, I don't have as much. So I'll start with hibiscus. Hibiscus has the ability to firm and lift and has the nickname the Botox plant because of the effect it has on the skin. It is a natural source of alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs, which exfoliate the skin, speed up cell turnover, and help control acne breakouts. It increases moisture and improves flexibility and elasticity to the skin, which is why it's called the Botox plant, because those are things that the Botox injections do for you. The hibiscus plant is also a good source of antioxidants, which protect the skin from free radical damage, but have astringent properties that help pores appear smaller and anti it's anti-inflammatory. And it also has a high moistage content, which makes it a, a great skin moisturizer. And with regular use, it helps the skin appear more supple and flawless overall. So this definitely has, the hibiscus plant definitely has other amazing beneficial properties to it, um, both internally and externally than just for like skin. So I don't have all of the information on the benefits of the hibiscus plant, but definitely you can just Google it and a lot of information about the hibiscus will pop up. It's been used for a really long time internally and um, externally as well. So it's definitely a really great ingredient. And so then the, the French green clay tightens pores, improves the function of oil glands, and increases the blood circulation to the skin. It absorbs impurities from the skin and removes dead skin cells. So it's definitely just another really great clay to have in your repertoire. Um, if you've got skin like I do that is clogged pretty much all the time, it's acne prone and oily. It's definitely a really great clay for oily skin. And then the lavender is good for anti-inflammation, it's antiseptic, antibacterial, it is good for toning and healing of the skin. So lavender as well has been used in skincare products for a really, really long time to help the appearance and just the overall like health of your skin. It's just a really great ingredient, especially again for acne prone, oily skin. It's just one of those ingredients that works really well for my kind of skin. So this, even though it's suited for like all skin types it's definitely more beneficial for people that have acne prone or oily skin because the ingredients in here definitely are targeted more towards those kind of skin types but anybody can really use this skin um i might suggest against it if you've got extremely dry skin just because the clay in here can be really really drying but um if you've got normal skin or oily skin especially i this is definitely a mask that i would pick up because the ingredients in here are just fantastic for people with my kind of skin. So I did do the mask today. I'm going to include, include some clips of me applying the mask and just talking a little bit about it as I put it on, and I'll just be back briefly after that. Okay, so here is what we're working with today. Um, just some info on my skin. My breakouts from the last couple of weeks have mainly stopped. I've, you know, 
You gotta bear with me. This is the second time I'm actually filming this demo part. I lost the, the footage of the first part, so my skin actually looked better the first time I did this. I didn't have these breakouts here. My skin was actually pretty clear except for some like red marks, so my skin looked great a couple of days ago, but now I've sort of, stress has creeped in. Um, so I, I'm, my skin is a little bit, it's a little bit more broken out than it was, but it's still, you know, it's not so bad. I am still dealing with a lot of redness and hyperpigmentation from my previous breakouts. So, um, this is the mask. This is the SW Basics Hibiscus Mask, and this is just the powder. I'll do a close-up of the powder. It's not, you know, it's pretty fine, it's a pretty fine powder, but there are some, like, you can definitely see, like, the lavender buds or the, um, you can see, you definitely see, like, some lavender buds or something in here. They're just, they're a little bit longer and they're not as fine, so... Um, it's definitely, it's not a finely milled powder, but it's, it's got some, it's, you know, it's sort of in between. So, with this one, you definitely want to make sure that you're wearing clothes that you don't care about. Like, sometimes you can do a face mask in a regular shirt and it's not a big deal, but, um, this one will stain anything that you're wearing red, so definitely make sure that you're, um, wearing something that you don't care that much about if it gets stained or not and either that you're doing this over the sink or you've got like a towel because um, one thing about this mask is it does have some like crumbly bits as you're putting it on um, depending on the wetness and it's drying as it dries it sort of crumbles a little bit so um, it does get a little bit messy so I'm just gonna put my hair back and then I will get started so just this morning, all I've done is I've washed my face with a pretty um, gentle cleanser. I used the Jopa Minerals Blemish Bar. I didn't want to use anything too harsh because there is some clay in here still and it can get pretty drying, so I didn't want to do too much. I've just been keeping my skin hydrated with my um, rose water, my rose petals rose water, um, just to keep my skin hydrated because I haven't done anything else. I haven't put any moisturizer or oils or anything because I wanted this to be, stop, because I wanted my skin to be fresh and clean. So that's all I've been doing. I've got my towel here that I'm just going to put down in my lap. Usually I would do this over the sink, but um, I don't have a sink in this room. So I'm putting the towel down to keep little bits from falling. Okay, so I'm going to take the powder. I'm going to take probably about a teaspoon, teaspoon's worth of powder, maybe a teaspoon and a half. I like to use a good amount. So here's what we got, and it definitely, it has a very strong smell out of the container. It must be the hibiscus, I'm not actually sure what hibiscus smells like on its own, um, but I don't smell much of the lavender in here when you just smell it straight out of the jar, but it does have a little bit more of a lavender scent once it's on your skin and the water has sort of activated it. It smells less like hibiscus and a little bit more like lavender, but it smells pretty strongly of hibiscus um, straight out of the jar. So I'm going to add enough water to make this wet, like sort of a little bit runny. I don't like it to be really thick because I find this one especially, it, it should be more runny just because um, it uh, doesn't spread well once it's, you know, if it's really thick. So I like to make this one a little bit more watery, but it's, it's totally up to you, personal preference, how, how much liquid to put in. Okay, so I've definitely made mine pretty runny. You can't really... You can sort of see it running against the bowl. Um, but I find it easiest to spread when it's pretty runny. And I actually even added a little bit too much water, so I'd add a little bit extra of the powder, but no big deal. Um, um, so you can definitely, I use my fingers for this. I use my fingers for a lot of my masks. I generally don't like to use like face brushes or face mask brushes or anything like that, um, but you definitely can if you prefer that. I don't do it that way, but so I'm just going to spread this on. Okay, so here's what we got. It's definitely a very vivid, bright red color. Um, I've seen some people compare it to, like, blood red, but this is more, like, beet red to me. I don't really think this, this, um, I don't really think this looks like blood to me, but, um, it's definitely a very beet color. 
So the instructions just say to leave it on 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. This actually does dry pretty quickly. Um, it's usually mostly dry within like five minutes, but I'd like to leave it on just a little bit longer because I like to let the hibiscus powder sort of sit on my face for a really long time and the clay to do its thing. So this mask doesn't get like really tingly or tight or tight or it doesn't pulse or anything like that. So it's definitely more on the gentle side in terms of how it affects your face once it's when it's on your skin. And this mask has pretty amazing results right after you take it off. The two times so far that I've used it, um, I saw immediate results. Like it definitely, there's a, definitely a brightening of the skin. Um, your skin will get a little bit red because of the clay, but it's it, there's definitely a brightening effect that happens. So I am going to leave this on for half an hour, to an hour depending on what I'm doing and I will come back once it's dry before I wash it off and I will let you see what it looks like once it's fully dry. The color doesn't change too much. It might get a little bit less vivid but it, it doesn't honestly change that much so I will be back in a few minutes. Okay so I've actually had this on pretty long. It's a work day for me so I've been working in between doing this so it's been on for about an hour and a half or two hours at this point. You can see the color just got a little bit darker. Um, it's not as bright as it was, so but that's really the only change. It doesn't, it you know, it dries, and if you touch, it's pretty crumbly. So you just want to be careful if you're using this not to like touch your face a lot or you know rub it on anything because you're gonna it's gonna get it's gonna crumble, and then you're gonna get little like red bits everywhere. So um, that's the only real thing that happens with this. It doesn't get like you know, too dry and it doesn't like start cracking or anything like that. It doesn't get really tight. It doesn't, you know, start to throb or anything like some clay masks can do. So this is definitely a pretty comfortable mask to wear because it really, it smells pleasant and it doesn't tingle or, you know, have any weird effects when it's drying. So this is a pretty comfortable mask to wear. It just looks, it looks really red. So I'm going to go wash this off and then um, I will come back and show you what my skin looks like just freshly washed. The last couple times I've done this, my skin has definitely been noticeably brighter, so I'm hoping the same thing happens this time. You know, it's always, I guess it's always dependent on your skin whether or not that happens every time you use the same mask, so I will be right back. Okay, so here is my freshly washed skin. Um, it does look a little bit red just because of the clay and probably the length of time that it was on, honestly. It was on for a pretty long time, but my face does I feel like the redness um, of some of my spots has gone down a little bit and my skin is definitely so super soft so today is Wednesday I did do this mask on Sunday and one thing that I did notice um, throughout the, the couple of days after I did the mask on Sunday is that my skin was a lot less oily for um, the two days and all, pretty much really the, the, the whole time between then and now my skin um, the oil had actually not been as you know I hadn't had as much oil production on my skin as I usually do so um, definitely some of the skin benefits are for oil production that are in this mask the hibiscus especially and I feel like that's true because my skin usually produces a lot of oils it gets really greasy but I hardly really had any oily skin um, in the last couple of days so I'm expecting to have um, oil free skin again well not oil free but you know a lot less oily skin for the next couple of days as well so this would definitely be a good mask to do if you've got oily skin um, once a week or every couple of days or something like that um, I did actually have I did make enough of this mask on accident sort of to uh, for another application so I'm, I've kept that and I'm going to actually do it again in another couple of days because I really I just I just I really love this mask I love the way it makes my skin feel and look and it smells really nice and it's it's just an all-around really great mask. Just one other thing to mention really quickly is that when I did take it off, um, because it does such a great job of curbing um, oil production, it does leave your skin just a little bit dry once you take the mask off because it has sort of sucked everything out. So my skin is a little bit dry. That's the only thing that's really noticeable is it, it's soft, but it's a little bit dry. So you definitely want to make sure that you hydrate and um, use some oils and stuff like that after you take the mask off, um, just for good measure. So. That's just the only other thing that I've got on this mask. So that's basically all that I've got to say about this mask this week. Um, so this is be, it'll be a lot shorter than they have been in the past. I just really like this mask. I like how simple the ingredients are. I like how effective it works for my skin type. Um, I love how it brightens my skin. I just, I love everything about this mask. And I've only used it twice, like 
I knew the first time that I used it that it was an amazing mask and you know sometimes with these masks it takes they don't you don't immediately see a difference or you don't notice a difference but this is definitely one that you will notice a difference the very first time that you use it and you'll just be addicted to this face mask I think even for its price, $22 for 2.5 ounces is definitely, it's a great deal for the ingredients that are in here and especially for the benefits that they have for your skin. It's just, it's an amazing face mask and I can't recommend this one highly enough. It's, if you've been thinking about getting it, um, when it comes back in stock, do it, just get it because you will notice a difference in your skin. You really will. And I'm really glad that I finally picked this one up. I had been thinking about it for a really long time and then over Black Friday they were having a sale so... It became mine <laughs> so yes I really suggest this one this is definitely one that I think everybody with oily or acne prone skin or even normal or more combination skin should definitely pick up dry skin use with caution but it's you know I still think that you would still see some skin benefits it might just be a little bit drying for you so definitely check this one out and let me know if you have gotten it or are thinking about getting it or if you have used masks with these ingredients like the hibiscus or the lavender powder in other masks and let me know what those are um, but this is definitely one that I really love and recommend so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye